Now for this Canva tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add or delete elements in your Canva document. So right now we already have a template, but let's say that we want to switch it up to make it more true to you. So let's say we want to remove this image right here. All we have to do is click the image placeholder and click that trash can and the element is deleted. Now, if I wanted to move this image placeholder to the opposite side, all I have to do is click it and drag and drop it. And I can place the image right there. Now, if I wanted to add in some more text, I can simply go to the text on the left side. You can click to add a heading, add a subtitle, add a little text. There also are some cool font combinations that you can add to your document. And you can just resize it. You can change up the colors. You can even change up the wording by just double clicking. And as we can see with this element, it is grouped together. If we wanted to ungroup it for whatever reason, you'll just click it, hit ungroup. And now we have two separate layers that we can move around. And if we wanted to group it again, all we'll have to do is select both layers by dragging and dropping. You can select both layers by clicking one layer, holding the shift and clicking the next layer. And then you can see at top, you can just click the group and now it is grouped again. If you want to delete this, all you have to do is hit the trash can or just click the delete button on your keyboard. Now, if we wanted to add some other elements, we can go to the elements tab. And here's so many different options that you can think of, whether it's tables, different frames, even just different photos or graphics. So let's say if we want to add in the YouTube logo, you can click the YouTube logo and you can drag it in. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. You can even search different elements. Let's say we wanted to put a basketball. Now there's just different graphics, different photos that you can search through and place in your document. If you go to the shapes, there's different things from lines, different shapes that you can add. You can make them different sizes. You can change the color. Like let's say we wanted to create a line just to divide the accomplishments and this short description. You can even rotate it if you want it to be diagonal or 90 degrees. If you wanted half of the image to be one color, we can do that as well. You can go to position and you can bring that to the back so that it's in the back of the image. So that it's in the back. You can bring that to the back so that it's in the background and you can see the text and the image. With frames, they're just different frames for photos that you if, that you can put in. With frames, there are different templates for photos that you can put in, whether you want different shapes, devices, paper edges. I wanted to start from scratch and not utilize a template. Here's some simple ways to do that. So let's say we wanted to start with the text. We can go to our text on the left-hand side. We can just go to add a heading. And we'll just type in full name. Now let's say that we actually want to create a background for this font. There's two ways that we can do that. We can either go to effects and create the background, or 
we can customize it more by going to elements and shapes. So I'm going to click on this shape. So let's just say we want this to be the top part of this document. And then we're going to change the color, let's say to blue. And then let's change the font color to white. Then perfect. Now let's say we want to add an image. We can just go to the frames and we're going to click on this square one right here. But I want to make it more of a rectangle, so I'm just going to pull it down. And just stretch it out a little bit more. Or let's say we wanted to do multiple images. If we go to grids, we can see they have different placeholders that we can use. Now if I wanted to add some more text at the bottom, I can go to add a subheading. And let's say here I want to put the title of the athlete or title of whatever the document is. Or even if I wanted to put some words on the side, I can do the same thing, but I can even duplicate, move it to the side. I can rotate it. There's just so much that you can do. Don't overcomplicate it, simplify it. Figure out what design you want. You can even go into design and go into the different templates that they already have. Now let's say I want to change the background from white to a different color. You can easily just play around with it. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. It can be as simple as you make it or as hard as you make it. Have some fun, play around with it, get the hang of it, and I can't wait to see what you create. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I can't wait to see what you create.